Over the past few years, I've used quite a few projectors, all sorts of brands, big brands, little brands, all in between, you name it, I've tried it. I just love the idea of having a giant screen at home, creating my own theater. One company, though, who has continued to impress me with their projectors is BenQ. Now, I've used their products for years. Well before starting a YouTube channel, I was using their monitors for personal use and for, like, arcade machine projects. I've talked about this before. And today, we actually have a new projector from them that is designed specifically for gaming. But don't get it twisted. This projector is fine for watching movies and shows, but it was made with gaming in mind first. So this is the new BenQ TH690ST. It is a 120 hertz, 4 LED, 1080p HDR gaming projector. Now it does work with 4K video as well, just downscales it to 1080p. But so far from what I have seen, this 4 LED projector does a damn good job of displaying bright and vivid detailed images. Almost all the footage you will see here today was recorded during daylight hours with light bleed coming in from both behind and in front of the projector. The image looked good no matter the time of day I had it on. I was really impressed here. So LED projectors, they've been around, you know, a while, and they do provide a better life than projectors that use a bulb or a different type of light source. But this projector goes for an extra LED instead of the standard green, blue, and red three LEDs typically found. Its extra LED is what makes this projector able to output such a brighter image. LED projectors are typically known for a bright image, but this is able to do even more because of that extra LED. So to note, it is listed to be at 2300 lumens for this projector. So this thing's got two HDMI 2.2 ports, a USB 2.0 service port, which can be used for firmware upgrades or to supply power to a device. Then you have an RS-232 port, audio in and out 3.5 millimeter jacks, and an SPDIF audio port. Now the top of the projector has the manual zoom and focus dials, plus several buttons that pretty, pretty much just mimic the included remote in case you need it. So the remote has all your basics, plus quick buttons to change through the different game modes, eco modes, and sound modes, plus your auto keystone correction and whatnot. Uh, it's a simple remote, nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. Now, with this being a gaming projector, they ensured the best latency as possible. I think uh, with latency, numbers have been quite convoluted and misrepresented over the years. Now, I'm no expert, but definitely look into this stuff further to have a better idea of display latency and what it actually means. If you do just a little bit of research, you will find that CRTs, who you know people are always screaming about, uh, not everybody, but a lot of people do, that a CRT at 60 hertz typically has 8.3 milliseconds of lag. This is the time the frame is drawn to the middle of the screen from the top. So BenQ has this projector meeting that latency when ran at 1080p, 120 hertz, so 8.3 milliseconds. Now if running at 1080p at 60 hertz or downscaled 4K 60 hertz, going, you know, downscaling at the 1080p, uh, you will be at around 16.9 milliseconds of latency. And that's still pretty good. A lot of projectors out there are quite a bit higher than this, even gaming projectors. So to ensure the best response time with latency, they do recommend to keep the uh, keystone correction to zero or auto to not have any digital manipulations to the way the image is displayed, as this could increase latency. So while I tested this thing, I didn't use the uh, keystone correction at all. I was able to set up the projector with the screen to where Everything was pretty square, but yeah, you would use keystone correction if you just couldn't get like the image to be square on your screen, you know, that nice rectangle. If it was all distorted, you would want to use that keystone correction, but it can increase latency slightly, so that's just something worth noting. So uh, this projector it is uh, listed as a short throw projector uh, where you can achieve an over 100 inch image from just slightly under five feet from projector to screen. And this seems to be accurate. I did project to a 80 inch screen, filling the entire screen at around four feet, six inches or so uh, for my measurements. So it, it seems fairly accurate. Now this projector it has a, a familiar user interface. I mean, if you've used other BenQ products in the past, uh, it seems to be almost the same as the you know other recent BenQ projectors that I've used, just with options specific to this projector. 
Uh, it works well, has all your typical options you may need to use, like projector placement, you know, front, behind, top, you know, whatever, right? All that basic stuff. And then you have your video and audio options. Now, uh, one setting that I noticed was in the game settings is called room setting. Uh, you could choose this mode while in-game or HDR game modes, and uh, they are darker bright mode. Now, it would seem bright would be good for upping the brightness if in a room with light coming in, uh, which does seem like that's what it's meant for. That's what the purpose is. But I always found using dark even when light was present in the room looked really good to me. So I, I did test it, but I just always left it to dark. Now, you also have an addition to that detail adjustment so you can fine-tune brightness, contrast, and gamma. So there's quite a bit here to really get the best image for your, you know, setup, right? Now, the one thing that I haven't mentioned so far, uh, and that typically kind of sucks with projectors, is the built-in speakers. Usually they're kind of bad. Sometimes at best they're passable uh, until you have like a better sound system to use with it. And you know, while I cannot sit here and scream how awesome the audio is with the two five watt Travolo speakers, I still can say they sounded really good. The audio was clear, it had nice bass. Uh, playing games with just those speakers was fine for me. I wasn't itching to plug in my Dolby Atmos setup or anything, uh, even though, you know, if I would have, obviously it would have provided better audio, but it's passable, more than passable. Some of the best speakers I have heard from a projector. I, I think a lot of people would be fine with them for sure. I mean, if you had this set up at like a party in a backyard or something, having a little tournament and people were crowded around the projector, you would still, you know, hear everything, uh, even with a lot of talking going on. So I think they're decent. They're really decent. Now, I did test this, uh, you know, quite a bit, and I, I just couldn't get over how good the image looked. You know, I'm used to 4K gaming, but this just looked so nice, it didn't even cross my mind that I was viewing a 1080p image instead of 4K with some of these games anyway. Uh, you know, I tested quite a bit of, you know, consoles, all the, the new stuff, Xbox Series, uh, you know, PlayStation 5, and the Nintendo Switch, and a little bit of retro gaming too, you know? I had to throw a little bit of everything at it, and, you know, while it's very difficult to film a projector displaying an image, I, I did try my best that I could in this video. And I, I think on film, all this stuff, it, it looks good, but in person, it just looked 100 times better. Uh, the clips I've shown just don't do this projector justice. Everything was buttery smooth. Playing games in 120 hertz was awesome. Latency felt great. I, I really have no complaints with this one. Uh, it, it is one I, I definitely think is worth looking into if you want something like this with gaming in mind. Like I said earlier, it's fine with uh, TV shows and whatnot, streaming some movies and all that, but it was made for gaming. Now, if this one doesn't do it for you for any reason, but you're still interested in a projector, I do highly recommend BenQ. Like, I mean, they're not paying me to say that either. Just, I, I like BenQ and I've really enjoyed a lot of their products products that I've bought myself, products that they've sent me for review. If you followed my channel, you know I could be pretty damn harsh regardless, and I, I have been really impressed with what they sell and offer. Uh, so they do sell a variety of projectors, and I, I think it's worth taking a look at, you know, what they offer. You know, they have a ton, ton of variety with uh, features and price points, you know, just kind of depending on what you're looking for. So if you're in the market for a projector, maybe this isn't the one, I still recommend taking a look at BenQ. Why the hell not? Now, if you're interested in this, you know, particular one, I will put some links down below. Let me know what you guys think. Really do appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye.